Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 27th. So let's just see what comes up. This is just an energy I'm picking up on, but there really are no clocks, so this may or may not be for you. The timing may be a little off. You never know. You never know. So what do we got? What's the message for today? We're going to get an overall energy, see what comes up. You get one of these, two of these, and then we're going to use that deck right there. For those of you that are waiting for your private readings, I'm doing them tomorrow. Not, you know, just the ones that are booked. I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to accept new ones right now, even though I got a shitload of requests in my box. I may or may not, I may or may not, uh, accept them. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, I need to get caught up. So if you are booked, it's coming. Just be patient. I got to do my YouTube readings as well. So anyway, what do we got? What do we got for the 27th? The lover is reversed. I am going to keep it reversed. So somebody may be giving up on a partnership. Maybe they're realizing it's really not meant to be. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. Maybe there's incompatibility. There's something that isn't right because things are turned upside down. There's probably some indecision over a partnership right now, whether you're holding on to it still or not. It looks to me as though it's, you know, there. there's a really strong connection here, but something has happened to turn it upside down. Something has happened to... Um, Cause somebody to think about it. Is this is this meant to be? I mean, is it meant to be? It could be a false foundation. Okay, that's a contract. It's reversed. Maybe this is a false contract. It certainly could be a false foundation. Could be a false sense of security. Maybe this needs to crash down because all that is all that is glitter is not gold okay it may look good on the surface but it may not be what you think it is it may not be the stable structure that you thought it was it may not be as secure as you thought it was maybe the foundation wasn't built strong in the first place And it's falling apart. It is falling apart. Something is falling apart. So, we have a partnership that is falling apart. Probably because, well, I don't know. Let's get some more cards. You know, there's, there's something that has happened here that has caused upheaval. Um, now somebody is in the process of making a decision. Is this false? I mean, this is a false foundation. This is a false contract. Is this a false? Is it? Is it a false contract? I mean, something is crumbling as we speak. The foundation is crumbling right now. Let's get one of these. These will not be reversed. These are energy oracle cards, and they're oracle cards. So they will not be. If they come out reversed, they will not be. Financial constraints. Well, we have somebody that is suffering financially, and that could be part of the problem. Maybe that's why they're not as secure as they need to be, or they would like to be. Looks like they don't have very much money. You look inside that cupboard, there's like, there's cobwebs, and there's barely any money in there. There's little money left. So, somebody is suffering financially. And, and, you know, all that is glitter is, is not gold. Like I said, perhaps somebody spent too much money and 
now there's suffering. Maybe the partnership is suffering because of it. Maybe somebody's not paying their fair share and scrambling to bring security back home, you know, to make it secure again. And somebody's not helping or who knows what the case is. But we have some conflict here, put it that way. Contract. We talked about contract, what, a minute ago? It did come out reverse, but we're not going to do reverses. These are oracle cards, like I said. But perhaps, you know... There's a false contract, I'm going to be honest with you. Perhaps there's something that has is making you unbalanced, you know. Somebody's not reciprocating. They're not doing their part. And it's like we have somebody here that just wants structure. I want balance. I want harmony. I want justice. What's fair you know, I'm looking for some something, you know, more equal. So I feel as though somebody may have uh, started themselves in a false, or got themselves into a false contract, or they may have signed a contract. Some of you may have signed a contract that is, um, maybe it's a home contract, it could be a contract with a vehicle, it could be a contract with a person, it's a partnership. There's a contract here that is costing somebody peace, it's costing them harmony, and it's costing them money. Could be at home. It's like now there's this contract that needs to be dealt with. Could be a marriage contract, whatever. It's something that is really causing some upheaval. Somebody has signed a contract that perhaps now they can't get out of or it's going to be it's going to cost some more money to get out of it or there could be some legal issues or whatever i mean i don't know there's a contract here that isn't going as planned put it that way it may have been a false sense of security you know they may he just somebody did it to to look good and you know it looks real good doesn't it it does it's gold it looks good but it's not stable. It's not secure. It's not built well. So, it looks good, but... That might be a lesson you need to learn. You think about contract. When I think about that contract card, I think about the justice card. The justice card is a card of karma. <laughs> All that glitters isn't gold. Be careful what you invest in. Just because it looks good doesn't mean it's good. Giving up. I'm trying really hard. We got somebody here that is trying to be responsible, trying to learn new things, trying to put in extra effort, trying to work together, trying to make something work. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be anybody. We have somebody here that is very strong-willed. This could be somebody who... Well, this is a very noble individual who is very passionate about what he does. But this is giving up. And you always got to look at what's mirroring each other. This is giving up. Going within. This is a card of silence. Silently listening observing we have somebody here that is observing keeping their thoughts to themselves investigating thinking about going in another direction 
This person may be thinking about, you know, starting their own business. If this is related to a job, you may have signed a contract at a job. I may, this is a, this is a boss. This is a um, entrepreneur. This is a business owner. So we could have somebody that is deciding to go teach. You know, I'm going to go teach. I'm going to go um, give show my skills to somebody else or teach my skills to somebody else. Um... This is giving up on a contract. So somebody may be giving up on a contract. Maybe they know they've been keeping it to themselves, but they know that this is over. They know it's not compatible, and they focus on it long enough, and they realize that there's a better opportunity perhaps to go their own way and teach or prove themselves someplace else. I will be more respected someplace else. So somebody is probably realizing that they will be more respected someplace else. Whether this is a work partnership or a love partnership or any kind of contract, this is like, I, I'm boss. I'm going to let this go because I know that there's something better. So somebody is letting go of something. I do. That's what we got going on here. Whether it, it could be because they've been involved in a, in a false. Now, this is government. This could be somebody that works for government. This could be somebody that works for a school. This is, this is something, you know, this is a big building. This is a tower. You think about the, any tower, okay? You think about the towers in New York City or whatever they are. Um, but this is, this, is a, this is a big building. Somebody that works in a, in a big, big building is probably for some of you, is deciding that I don't want to be in this contract anymore. It's not stable. If if this is a relationship, this could be at home. Okay, this could be at home. So there's, there's definitely some sort of contract that is probably expiring or it's about to expire on your own accord. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. There's some happiness elsewhere. Now, this is an opportunity for happiness, bliss. To come together with a perfect opportunity. Something that can make you a lot happier. <laughs> Somebody wasted their time. Somebody wasted their time focusing on something that was emotionally draining or emotionally unfulfilling something. A loss. Somebody wasted their time focusing on something that didn't make them happy or a loss of some sort. This is the King of Cups reversed is withdrawn. So yeah, we have had somebody that has gone within and withdrew to, you know, really listen and investigate and think about what their next step is. Sometimes the King of Cups, King of Cups in reverse, I mean, I can't say it's always bad because this person is withdrawing to gather information so hmm. in this case anyway this is a bigger better opportunity it really is i don't need to see the ace of pentacles this is an opportunity you're at this crossroads you can stay chained where you're at or you can move forward this bird is a symbolization symbolize symbolizes freedom so you have an opportunity to break free from your current circumstances right now so somebody may be deciding to break free. You know, I'm going to leave this behind. I'm stepping over the edge. It's time for me to make this decision to move forward. You know, to take that path that I've been so scared to take. So I feel like, I mean, this is a card of, this is personal for flying. I mean, flying free. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go my own way. I, I'm, I'm, breaking, I'm breaking free from this. I'm going to untie myself from this. Okay. It's time for me to fly. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding that it's time to break this chain, right? Or whatever. Try, time to cut this cord. It is. It's time. It's time to cut these cords and for me to be free. It's time for me. Somebody's going to be is, is planning starting their own business or they're going to be working on their business or their whatever for some of you. Um, oh, the emperor. This is the boss. Okay, this is the boss. So it's becoming your own boss. So somebody is going down that road of, you know, I'm the boss, I'm the leader, I'm going to take charge of this situation, and I'm going to build a new structure. 
I'm gonna build a new kingdom. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebuild it. This is, this is it. I mean, look at how strong this guy is. Very strong. So we have a very strong individual here that is is making a decision, very decisive to, and this is a solid decision. So we, this guy, he he he's making a decision, and it's like you. Once his mind is made up, it is made up. So we have a, you know, I feel it. And this don't look like a woman, but I suppose that you know you can pretend that it does. But anyway, um, this is this is a masculine that is very responsible and structured and organized, and he has a little lot of wisdom. He's very strong. He's stable, and once he makes a decision, he sticks to it. So we have somebody here that is taking control of a situation by being their own boss. I'm going to be my own boss. So I feel like, whether it's a male or a female, if you are the female watching this, you could be deciding you're going to start your own business, but this is work. If you are a female, you may be, I don't know, joining up with somebody. Maybe you're deciding to start a business with one of your friends or something like that. If you are the male here, it looks to me like you are making a really... this a decision i mean this decision is very the decision has been made okay the decision it's 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 well thought out put it that we have somebody who has this is a this is a somebody who has really really thought about what they're going to do it's like the plan they've made the plan very creative energy here so yeah we have we have somebody here that has wasted time on a contract that is going nowhere and I think we have another person that has made a decision that it's time to go after happiness okay this is happiness it's time to release I think that they've listened they've got the message they know what it, they know it's time you know it's time to withdraw it's time to withdraw from this situation because I got a bigger, better up. I got a better opportunity for an emotional fulfillment. I've wasted my time long enough. It's like now it's time to expand my horizons. It's time for expansion. It's time for me to step over this edge, cut this cord with this situation and go work together with somebody else. So I feel like that's what we have here. Somebody, a, a false foundation is crumbling. A false contract is crumbling. Because there's a bigger, better opportunity for happiness. Okay, this is happiness. This is contentment. This is to work together with somebody else, male or female. All right. So this is this is releasing that false contract and making a decision and sticking to it, not budging. And we got somebody who are here who is making a decision to go. Page of Swords reverse. It may bring some conflict into another person's life. Okay, Page of Swords reversed. There's, there's, there could be some unexpected conflict here because we have somebody here that is so headstrong. Seriously, this is unexpected conflict. It's like this guy, you can't make this guy budge. You can't. You gonna move this guy? Are you? It might take two people. Okay, he's not movable. I mean, he is, but uh, hardly. So, anyway, I think this, we got somebody here that may be delivering a hard message to somebody. Maybe it's their boss. Okay, maybe we have somebody that's saying to their boss, because this could be the boss. The boss isn't going to budge. The boss doesn't... doesn't respect you or whatever and somebody doesn't respect you or the man of the family does some man this is a man maybe there's lack of respect <laughs> it could go so many ways i could go on and on with this anyway there's there's a difficult message coming through from somebody that brings about some conflict because there's a passionate new opportunity waiting so somebody is deciding to go down a new path take a new approach we got this new vision we got this new drive we got this new desire for a new partnership so somebody is headed towards a new partner this could be a new work partner a new sexual partner a new anything this is a new partner 
a new endeavor, a new opportunity, exciting, passionate opportunity. So I feel like somebody wasted their time focusing on a loss and now maybe they're deciding that they are going to work together with somebody else and that's what I got. Be prepared because this tower is here. It's falling, it's crumbling. Something is crumbling right now. But this is the universe saying it's time for a clean slate. It's time to rebuild. It's time to start over. It's time to let go of that false sense of security. Yeah, it looked real good. <laughs> but all that glitters is not gold. Look below the surface. Go a little bit deeper next time. Don't leave any stone unturned. Don't jump. Be wise. Don't go fast, because when you go fast, you don't build a solid foundation. Take your time. So we have a release of a partnership, a contract, something, some sort of partnership, okay? Because there's a lack of reciprocation, there's a lack of respect, and there's a better, more exciting opportunity where things could grow pretty quickly. I think we have somebody here that is heading down a new path. It's an exciting new path. Good luck. <laughs>